Police forces in Santa Fe are trying to stop drunk drivers tonight, but this is no regular DWI checkpoint. This one is in memory of a pair of sisters who lost their lives in a drunk driving crash. KOET Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton joins us live there with more. Yeah, you know, Royal, any driver might see this as a normal DWI checkpoint, but it's not because five years ago tonight, two Native American sisters were hit by a drunk driver at this intersection behind me. And this night carries a lot of emotion for both family and police. They're called angels by those who know them best. Five years ago, the lives of Del Lynn and Deshauna Peshlakai were taken at this intersection in Santa Fe by a drunk driver. Tonight, their family and police from around Santa Fe came to this same intersection to pay respects by trying to stop others from making a potentially fatal mistake. The purpose of the checkpoint is to detect and arrest those persons operating motor vehicles while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The night started with a briefing inside Santa Fe PD. The Peshlakai family filled the room. A lot of people say it gets easier if they're if you go on. It's not true. Many of them held back tears as the Peshlakai sister's father, David, took the podium and explained why tonight is so important. I don't want these girls dying for nothing. I want them to, to be remembered with something. I want them to change the world, like I say. And while a sea of lights awaited drivers in Santa Fe tonight, Peshlakai says he felt the presence of his daughters. They're always with us. They're always with me. It's just like, uh, they said they were daddy's girls. And tonight, they'll be there. They'll be there. The man convicted in the deaths of the Peshlakai sisters, James Ruiz, is now serving a 40 year sentence in prison. In Santa Fe, Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News. Thanks, Matt. When he was sentenced in 2011, James Ruiz said that when he gets out of prison, he'll teach others about the dangers of drunk driving.